Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us on Episode 8 of Spartan Sports Network. Coming to you from The Hodge, we talk upstate women's basketball. The 4-3 and three Campbell Camels came into town to take on the 5-6 and six Spartans. We look back at some of the key plays of that game. The Spartans and the Camels kept it a close game in the first quarter, only separated by four points after the first 10 minutes. Campbell went ahead in the second, scoring 18, going into halftime ahead 32-19. But Upstate stepped it up on defense in the third, holding Campbell to just 12, while Tamara Thorpe led the Spartans to score 14 points by the end of the quarter. But Hannah Long led the Camels in the fourth, scoring 15 points in the game, sending the Spartans away with a 56-41 loss. Now afterwards, Harley Wilson caught up with Tamara Thorpe and Riley Popowell to talk to the two about what they saw on the court tonight, what they liked, what they didn't like, what were the strengths and weaknesses as a team and individually, and what they will be working on in the next game to come. Riley, what was your thoughts on the game this evening? Obviously, every loss is a tough one, and there's lots of points we need to improve on. But we're getting there, and each game we're seeing little improvements. And we had our points, but we'll just keep working to come back from this. The next game, you guys are going to be playing UNC Asheville. What are some of the things that you guys are going to be working on to prepare for your next game? We w really want to work on our defense locking down and getting stops. And then we're hoping our offense will come from that and just playing as a team and getting better. Tamara, you were the leading scorer tonight for your team, totaling in 12 points. What are some things that you feel like were your strengths tonight and what are some things that you think you can work on? Definitely in the third quarter, uh, I think I got off to a slower start in the first half. I was I was missing easy shots that I should have hit. Should have got to the free throw line more than I did to get myself going um, because the shot wasn't falling. But I think definitely in the third quarter, I, I picked up my intensity and then having the bench get into the game more and crowd get into the game more, it helped me a lot. Um, jumping passing lanes, little things like that, getting easy layups in the paint. You guys were able to close the trail in the second half against the Camels. What are some things that you guys saw in the second half? Well, our intensity definitely picked up a lot, especially in the third quarter. Uh, defense, we were jumping the passing lanes more. Uh, we were hitting more shots, our percentages were going up, which brought more intensity to the bench, more intensity to the game, which helped us overall. Upstate men's basketball just came off a really big win earlier this week. Here's Harley Wilson with more. On Tuesday night, the Spartans hosted the PC Blue Hosts, looking to advance to 7-5. and five. As we know, last year the Spartans failed to PC, but last Tuesday night in the Hodge was a different story. The forward, Josh Cuthbertson, led the Spartans in scoring totaling 22 points, towering over PC lead scorer Darius Moore, who had 14 points in the game. The Spartans were 12 for 28 shot attempts in the first half, then in the second half went 14 for 25. The next time we'll see the Spartans back in action will be this Saturday at 3 p.m. taking on Jacksonville State. Now back to you, Alex. For all the latest updates on Upstate basketball, log on to UpstateSpartans.com and don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. That'll do it for Episode 8 of Spartan Sports Network. I would like to thank Harley Wilson for joining us with all our game details and interviews, as well as Riley Popowell and Tamara Thorpe for joining us. And remember, log on to my YouTube channel, Alex Love, or go to my Facebook page, just type in Alex Love, for all the latest episodes on Spartan Sports Network. Thank you for watching.